Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. What did I say for today's video? So, not in real life, but the day it's posted is my birthday, which is why I picked this. Why am I saying that? I'm not that guy. Make a big deal about my birthday. But if you do wish me a happy birthday and say something like, you know, happy birthday, Kyle, hope you're having a good day, that's enough words to help the algorithm and that's a nice little birthday present to me. Uh, might take views away from like uh, Joe from the Beer Patrol, which would be awesome, right? No, I'm just kidding, I love that guy. Uh, but yeah, so no, I, I was like, this video, the beer I review right now is gonna go up on my birthday, so let's try to pick something that seems like birthday-ish, you know? And I'm not realizing I have my birthday balloon shirt that I'm not wearing, but anyway. So I went with this one, white chocolate strawberry, bourbon barrel aged wheat wine with strawberries, cacao nibs, and vanilla, 13.5% ABV. So it's got that Neapolitan ice cream thing in a wheat wine. So if you guys watch the channel a lot, you know I love a delicious paint by the numbers beer. Yep, this tastes exactly like how a hazy IPA should taste. Love it, mm. And then sometimes it's like, I want something different. I want something weird, unique, right? This sounds unique. Cause like those ingredients, those adjuncts in a stout, sure, of course. And a wheat wine? I don't know. I don't know. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, it's a 2022, so it's at least, you know, a year and a half at this point old. Uh, like a white chocolate dipped strawberry, but better. White chocolate strawberry combines our bourbon barrel aged wheat wine style ale, which I do love wheat wines, and I think they pair well with bourbon barrel aging. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Treated with cacao nibs and hand processed vanilla beans. You know I love me some vanilla. Uh, with delicious strawberries, effortlessly blending flavors together for a bright flavor and added complexity. The result is a big bodied ale with notes of caramel and vanilla rounded out with a touch of fruit sweetness. All right, let's get into it. Got my brewery glass. I have actually a couple, I rolled literally two different kinds and then two of the same one, but uh of these uh, brewery glasses, oh, this doesn't fit on these. Yeah, I didn't bring my, whatever, no big deal. Um, I actually prefer this one to the other ones. I, lo I love the other ones too, but just, I don't know what it is about this. I think it's just the logo is big and obvious, but anyway, you didn't come here for me to talk about glassware. Uh, just over a finger ahead, it's got that like orange red tint from the strawberries, I'm assuming. Uh, although wheat wine, you know, has a little bit of that orange color, but this beer, I mean, it, it, it's, like if I think of a wheat wine, this is a little bit, just a little bit darker and has, yeah, more of an, a red hue. So I think the strawberries did add some of that. Uh, maybe the cacao nibs, a little bit of that darkness also without it totally turning brown. But in the center, you can see kind of it approaching brown. Um, kind of see a little bit through it, like where it's thin, but it's hard to see through this beer. Um, I'm not going to say it looks bad, but like I'm, I, it's, it, it doesn't look like a lot of beer. So it's not like, oh man, this looks amazing. This is how I think beer looks. So like my mind doesn't go there, but it's not like it looks like, you know, spit up or something. Anyway, let's get to the aroma. What a weird start to this review. <sighs> Yo, I love this aroma. Wow. Okay, so... So far, I'm just getting strawberries and vanilla, and it's totally reminding me, I think Hershey's made them, um, and maybe they still make them, um, and instead of like the creamsicle kind of orange and vanilla hard candies, they had a strawberry vanilla one, um, and it totally reminds me of that thing, which makes sense. I didn't get any of the, the uh, cocoa nibs uh, in it. I, I wouldn't even say I got beeriness, bourbon. Uh, it was really just those two things. And, and strawberries, to me, um, can, can be really delicate in a beer. You know, so I'm surprised. And it doesn't say artificial strawberries um, or artificial, you know, it's like real strawberries plus artificial. It doesn't say natural flavors. You know, it just says actual strawberries. So like, well done there. I think some of that wheat wine sweetness is, is why it's going so confectionary for me. Kind of reminds me of that. It's probably, I assume it's box cake. I don't remember the last time I had this, but like a boxed, strawberry cake with vanilla frosting like it, it's so confectionary with those things still i'm getting a little bit of the wheat wine i'm not getting bourbon or oak i'm not getting the cacao nibs not a lot of complexity in the aroma i'm getting those two adjuncts 
ninety percent, and then everything else is ten percent. I'm talking about. So like, in it, but again, it smells awesome. Uh, let's see about the taste. Cheers. Much more complexity in the taste than the aroma, so that's good. A little bit of acidity, which I was not thinking about. Strawberries could kick that out, which helps bring some balance to um, the sweetness of this beer. A little bit of warming in the chest, which, you know, it is 13 point whatever percent, 13.5. Um, you know, but that doesn't, that ABV doesn't always give me warming of the chest. I am getting a little bit of that for whatever that's worth. It's not like off putting, it's just a note. This is a trip because, like I was saying about the strawberry and the aroma, I'm tasting a lot of strawberry in this beer, and I was—I really didn't think that was going to happen. Um, I figured of the three adjuncts, that was going to be the one I got the least. But it's definitely going, at least in the taste. The aroma might have been a hair more vanilla, and maybe some of that bourbon barrel aging helped to the you know with the vanillin to add to the vanilla. Um, but. Um, don't you love how I always say that? I really try to articulate the N on va <laughs> vanillin. But anyway, um, so yeah, in the taste, it goes strawberry, vanilla, the faintest whisper of cocoa nibs. I don't think, like if I was doing this blind, I don't think I'd even pick it up. I think it's because it's implanted in my mind to know it's in this beer. It is so minimal. Um, I don't know if I've ever had their base wheat wine that would be the base of this. Um, but like... If I was doing this blind, I probably would have to guess something in that realm. Like, it doesn't drink stouty. It doesn't drink, like, a barley wine, really. Uh, it doesn't have a Belgian thing. but So it has, like, this big, strong ale, but not in a Belgian way. So, like, wheat wine makes sense, but I don't get as much, you know, like, uh, caramel notes, uh, a toffee. Like, that stuff, I don't get much. It, it, it's the vanilla strawberry big beer thing. Man, this is tasty, though. So again, more complex than the aroma, but still, man, that, that burp was like straight strawberry ice cream. But it like, oh my God. Wow. Wow. Again, the acidity is really nice. It's bright. It helps the beer pop. It's not vinegary, but it reminds me of some nice um, like strawberry vinegar-based dressings I've had, but it's a little sweeter than that. Um, and yeah, that, that vanilla is, is helping melt some things. I'm finally getting some uh, bourbon and oak. So however many sips I've had at this point, I'm finally, finally able to get past some of those things I've been talking about over and over again. And I'm getting that aspect of the beer as well, which is interesting. Quickest zest of an orange as well. As I said at the beginning of this, I wanted something different. Man, this hit, and I wanna amend something. If you watch like my reviews every day, I post them. Uh, well, thank you, but also um, I meant to put a note and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll still do it. The um, beer I did on Saturday for my seller Saturday was that, uh, was it called Kentucky Fog? It's that bourbon, it's a Goose Island, Bourbon County um, uh, 2020. Yeah, I think it was 2020, and it has uh, Earl Grey tea, black tea, and honey in it. And on camera, as I was drinking it, I was I was really liking it. It was different, but I still got some of the Bourbon County stuff. But I gotta tell you, as I uh, continued drinking it off camera, I liked it less and less as it went on, okay? I don't know if the same thing's gonna happen with this beer, so check the description box below. If, if as I'm drinking it, the weirdness of it, for lack of a better word, of this beer, if it starts grating on me, and I'm also gonna break this up into two, drinking this over the span of two days. Um, uh, so yeah, check the description box. I'll make a note if it did start getting taxing to drink. If there's no note, I'm, I'm a thousand percent going to put a note if it does get taxing. If there's no note, I met, I, as I finished this bottle over the course of two days, and no point did the weirdness of it become too much or take me out of it, or I was like, or I was like man, I just wanna, a good tasting beer, not something weird. Um, but right now, it's different and super tasty. Like, I'm really liking this. So, yeah, have you guys had one before? Have you had a beer that sounds like this before? Uh, how about this as a question? Because wheat wines aren't the biggest style, but, like, 
What other adjuncts have you seen in a wheat wine? I can only, going back to uh, Goose Island, their Carmelo with the apple, which worked super well in cinnamon. Um, but like, what other, besides barrels, what other adjuncts have you ever seen in a wheat wine? Any of that stuff, anything you want to talk about? And again, if you wish me happy birthday, I think it's got to be three words or more. It counts towards the algorithm. Any of it, get it going down in the description box below or in the comment section below. Uh, once you're done doing that, make sure you go over to Joe's channel. I'm just busting chops. Watch his videos too, obviously. He's a great guy. Uh, but yeah, once you're done doing all that, make sure you check him out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.